I just realized, if we hadn't stopped the fake Dragon Master, Ratio might have just up and killed him. Maybe. Maybe. Also, hello everyone. Welcome back to more Lunar Silver Star Harmony. I'm sorry about what happened to your mother, but are your abilities equal to hers? We need your protection. I'll never be as strong as my mother was, but I'll certainly try my best. Don't worry, old man. <clears throat> I'm the only magician this city needs. I guess that's just Nash's voice now, because every time I try to do Nash's voice, that's what it ends up as. So, the Pets of Vile Tribe took all those songs just as back to the frontier, but where are they from to begin with? Zenobia said something about the Vile Tribe being banished to the frontier, but where is the frontier? It's on the other side of the world, actually. Welcome to Vane, the former home of the turncoat known as Gellion, a city which will stop the would-be Magic Emperor and his army of mutants dead in their tracks. Don't forget that's also the current home of Nash. Yes, because you're so important, Nash. None of the storybooks I've read describe anything like the events happening in our world right now. Really? I, I kind of figured this would be something. Gillian intends to rule our, rule our world with the Vile Tribe? The Goddess would never let that happen. Forget about Althena, I'll, I'll never let that happen. Neither will I. Not after what he did to Luna. Mia, take care of yourself. The future of the Magic Guild is riding on your efforts. I don't think I possess that kind of ability, but I'll do my best. No, it whispers that the goddess no longer resides in her tower. How ridiculous. I'm sure you didn't put up I'm sure you don't put any stock in that ridiculous rumor. Uh quick check. You have the fortune staff. I want you to have the fireball staff. Okay, so what it did was it took the fortune staff and the fireball staff that I already had and equipped them to both Nash and Mia at the start of that fight. That makes sense. Alright. So probably if I had um if I had sold the fortune staff I probably would have equipped both of them with the fireball staff but that's fine. It would have just been a little more power for Nash. It's not that big a deal. Good, good day, Miss Elsa. It certainly is a rare pleasure to see you out and about like this. Please see to it that you do not cause your mother to worry too much about your well-being. With me by Mia's side, Lamia has absolutely nothing to worry about. What kind of power makes Vane able to fly like that? I wonder if I could use that. Oh, it's, that's exactly the same. Alright. So we could just walk there, but then we'd have to go through the. Uh. The thing. Where we fight all the guys. So let's just fly to Danza. And get probably one of the best scenes in the game. Who dat? Alex, someone just screamed. What's going on over there? Ha ha ha, hello fools. Don't make a move or I'll rip her to shreds. Snowbia, we found her. Get out of my way, Alex. I'm going to kill that overinflated bimbo right here and now. Come on, Jessica. You know she'd kill that poor girl in a heartbeat. Don't let your emotions overrule your common sense. So what do we do now? So, this girl is a beautiful songstress of repute. I never quite understand the way these humans think, but it is of little circumstance. <coughs> Do as Gallion has commanded and take this girl away. <coughs> what the? No! Help! <coughs> hey, what's happening? Catch her! Move, you ignorant beasts! 
Ew, no, don't touch me, you vile creatures. You. Ooh, dear, pardon the heels. Goodness, haven't you ruffians learned how to keep your filthy mitts off an honest woman? I think it's about time. Time you received a lesson in good manners. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> This is one of my favorite cutscenes in the game. Oh yeah, I make this look good. Huh? Jess, what are you doing here? Wait, you got kicked out of the shrine again, didn't you? <coughs> Why you... <laughs> That's okay. I'll listen to your story once I take care of these petty monsters. Don't underestimate the vile tribe. Kill them all. Oh no! It's just Kyle! Whatever will I do? Power sleep. So interestingly enough, in the PlayStation version, all four of these guys are positioned perfectly. So you can kill all of them in one shot like that. But apparently not in this version. The, the guy there in the bottom corner was just slightly off. Any experience points? Haha, <laughs> you've got another hundred years of serious training before you'll be able to dance with me in battle. Well, Zenobia, looks like it's just the strong and gorgeous against the painfully ugly. What are you and the vile tribe kidnapping songstress, Zenobia? Or why are you rather di doing that, rather? <laughs> you couldn't begin to fathom the real reason, brat. I have far more important tasks than to, to explain our plans to you. <coughs> Zenobia, wait! Damn it! Damn it all! Give us back, Luna! Damn curvaceous magic using wench! Excuse my ignorance, Jess, but what the hell is going on around here? That that witch turned my dad to stone when he tried to protect me from her magic. She did that to Mel? How can she, how can anyone have that much power? Because Galleon is the magic emperor and he's backing the Vile Tribe. And he's the one who kidnapped Luna. Luna? Who's that? She's a friend of Alex and all, and they're friends of mine. She's a songstress, just like the others, kidnapped by the Vile Tribe. But I imagine we could fathom. Pretty easy, too, I'd imagine. But we still haven't figured out what their purpose is in taking them. We've been searching for the Magic Emperor, and that's what brought us here. Kyle, since I know you have nothing better to do than imbibe more than is healthy, you're going to join us and help, to help us defeat Galleon. Take on the Magic Emperor, huh? Ah, what the hell. When do we leave? All right. All right, Jess, I'll help you save your dad. And not because he might even stop busting my chops, but because I know how much he means to you. Kyle, just imagine how many groupies I'm gonna have after I do this and become a hero. Lovely ladies will be drooling at my feet. Hey, what's wrong, Jessica? I just feel stupid because I actually admired you for a few seconds. Alex, I want to help you too. This magic emperor needs a serious beating. Kyle, do you know anything about the Red Dragon Cave? I heard rumors about a dragon inside a cave near the south end of the Maria Zone. That's all we need to know. Lead the way, Kyle. We can get there by heading through the barrier's south gate. Now it's time to set off and make myself into a sex... I mean, hero. This is going to be an interesting trip. All right, there it is, our full party. So Kyle 
has Power Slash, Power Sweep, Sonic Riser, Power Up, and Shine Blade. Really? His AG is one enemy? It's extreme damage, though. Apparently. Uh, let's see. He's got a Bastard Sword, Steel Armor, Steel Shield, Steel Helmet. Cool. Let us through, Bob. Dude, my boss is hanging with you? Excellent. Should stop by Reason. Check out the early fest, early harvest. Whatever it's just said. Alright. Now to go where I have never gone before in this version of the game. Now I've heard of a man in the Marius region who is supposed to be one of the wisest men in the world. Perhaps this daemon could determine the weak point of the Magic Emperor and tell us how to bump him off. Daemon, huh? Six moths. Alright, we got a full team here. It looks great. It really do. Uh, Nash, go ahead and drop Fireball Staff on the one in the back. Jessica, Pummel. Drop a Flame Circle right there. And Kyle. Just attack. I should formation, Kyle. Quack. Good shot. Alright, time to set our final party formation. I mean, yeah, we could always change it at any point, but I think this is how I want the party to be set up. Jessica kind of up in the middle, Kyle and Alex on the sides, mages in the back. Seems good. I'll just resave over the same file since I didn't move or anything. Hey boss, hey Jessica, haven't seen you around here in a while. Try getting along, aren't you? My ears were ringing for a week the last time you two got in a fight. Don't worry, Kyle knows better than to argue with me again. Hello children, I've heard that there is a huge volcano on the west side of the Marius region. Where there are volcanoes, there are usually hot springs. I'd love to have just one soak in that wonderful water. Hot springs, huh? You don't say. Alright, Alex and Nash, go ahead and drop a riot. And Jessica, and Mia, and Kyle. Oh god! <laughs> that power! Yawns. Hey. Thank you, game. Oh, Kyle, how are you? Thank you so much for having your men escort us through the barrier. Never felt so safe. Oh, yes, Kyle, you're a great man indeed. Watching you charm women and rip off men has never made me feel so sick. What'd you say, Nash? 
Why don't you speak above a whisper and share with the rest of us? Knock it off, both of you. If you want to beat someone up, how about the Magic Emperor? Yeah, Mom, look, it's Kyle. When I grow up, I'm going to steal money and be really rich like him. You're wise beyond your years, kid. You've got a great future ahead of you. Uh, perhaps you should suggest the young boy pursue a career outside of crime. North, Nanza Barrier. South, Marius Region. Hail, Kyle. Just as you ordered. We've been protecting all the women and children free of, car free of charge. Good, good. And you've remembered to charge men double the normal fee, haven't you? Ha 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 Once a bandit, always a bandit. There we go, a whole new map. Whoa. Oh, in okay. Interesting. It, uh, it, it's a little... It's a little quirky because of how far, like how big this map is. Oh, Il let's see. Illic, Marriott Forest, Damon Spire. Nanza Pass and Reza. Also, there's the volcano right there. Well, let's head to Reza. They did say something about checking out Reza after all. Oh yeah, this music. This is Reza, Reza a refugee for those too guilty to live in the law-abiding world. So, it's a town of thieves, as you're saying. Just, di didn't we already just leave a town of thieves? Welcome to Reza. Not exactly the wealthiest town in the Marius region, but a great place to learn the latest news and gossip. And the beer is absolutely divine. Hey! Excuse me. No, are you alright? Well, the inhabitants of Re Reza certainly are rude. I can see why Kyle fits in so nicely here. Hey, Noel, did that guy bump into you? I yes? Oh, wait! The white dragon wings, they're gone! Well, you just learned the only real downer to this place. It's a den of thieves. There are so many of them, they've even formed a guild. Watch your valuables. This place can get a little rough. Hey, Kyle. Perhaps you could have warned us before and all got robbed. Riza, Riza is a big town. If we're going to find those wings, we better start looking now. I know you heard me, you selectively deaf weasel. And this is awful. It's been assigned by the Thieves Guild to burgle the town of Alec next month. Like there's anything valuable among that collection of kooks and crackpots. Got weapons here from all over the world. Come on over here and take a look. What do we got? A samurai blade, a flail, and an infernal staff. Ooh. I will take all of them, please. Go ahead with that samurai blade. Go ahead with that infernal staff and the flail. And the other infernal staff. And okay. What I thought was that the silver sword was worse, but I wanted to be sure. Um, I'm not going to need the fireball staffs anymore. I'm probably going to regret that, but... Because now I won't have them for using magic, but... I was getting new weapons in here, so keep taking back, because I want your money. I mean, he's not wrong. I think it's been a better time to be a member of the Thieves Guild. The leader has a sharp mind for business, and our new recruits are quick learners. Why don't you kids join up too? You look pretty smart to me. That's right, we're smart enough to not enter the world of organized crime. Come on, spend some money before I have to steal it from you. Uh, silver mail, purity garment, sorceress robes, and mithril armlets. Whew! Spending all my money here, man. But I guess it's worth it. 
Now I don't remember what all I bought. <laughs> Nickel armlet. Security garment. Presser robe. Mithril armlet. There we go. Magic robes. Uh, angel ring. Wow, angel ring sells for 5,000. And I can sell Luna's Bromide for a whole whopping one silver. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. If I do that, it will be by accident. I will never legitimately sell that. Don't miss the armory in the Thieves Guild. My brother will give you some great deals. That or he'll rip you off. Depends on his mood. What's wrong, children? You look scared. Something's been stolen from you. Seems that everyone's a thief in this town. Even me! Yes, well, I've been given a distinctively different assignment by my superiors at the Thieves' Guild. I'll be robbing the people of Myriad next month. There aren't many hiding places for the criminal element. The residents are so slow that they won't even realize they've been plundered. Right, then what's your assignment? I haven't seen you around before. Why not thieves? Hello, don't mind the smile on my face. Just got done with another big shopping spree at the Thieves' Bazaar. They have everything you could imagine, and it's all at rock bottom prices. It's easy to have great prices when you get all your inventory for free. She's not wrong. <coughs> I don't see that thief anywhere, but I know he ran in here. Let's talk to the barkeep and find out where. Find find out where he went and stay calm. Just stay calm. Hey Alex, doesn't the old man at the counter look kind of familiar? Hey, it's Lake. Oh, hello Alex. Wouldn't have expected to see you in a place like this. There are a lot of thieves in Re Reza. Make sure you keep a firm grip on your possessions. Too late. You've already been robbed. Good luck finding the culprit. Ho ho ho. Alex, I take it you came this way to find the Red Dragon. The only way to get there is by flying over the mountains. So what are you going to do? I can't fly to the cave by myself, Alex. What are we going to do? Hey, Kyle. I haven't seen you around here for a while. So now I'll have a drink, lad. Hell, I'll have three. Let's hear some stories about your life in Nanza. I wish you could, friend, but I'm not here to tell, to tell tales and swill ale. Someone's a valuable item from a member of my group, and I'm here to get it back. That's a shame, Kyle. But complaining about thievery and Reza just isn't going to get you very far, if you know what I mean. Actually, I was hoping you could use us how oh, I was hoping you could help us get it back. You're an influential guy around here. Is there anything you can do? Well this must be important if you're trying to use flattery, huh? <laughs> there is a way to get your item back. Members of the guild aren't allowed to steal from other members. When you joins the guild, whoever stole your item will have to give it back to you. Not as easy as I hoped, but I guess we really don't have a choice. So, how do I join the guild? Your thieving skills have to be tested by one of the guild elite. He can be found working in Myriad this week. Finding him is also part of the test. You know how to get to Myriad, right? Just walk along the coast of the Inland Sea until you reach it. Myriad? It's practically in the Stadius region. Are we strong enough to go that far? Hey, you guys can stay here if you want. I'm the only one who has to pass the test. As long as you all don't mind being labeled wimps for life, I'm fine with it. Alright, down to Myriad, huh? This is when things start to get a little blurry in the exact, like, order of, um like things that happen in this game I mean not only just the fact that I haven't done this in like a while like I haven't done this version at all um oh and okay I have to go to the Myriad Forest here's Althena Spring though Whee! gotta go all the way down <coughs> Thank you.
Can you go ahead and stop at Althena Spring real quick? This is the spring of the goddess Althena. If you enter its soothing waters, you can purify your soul. Do you wish to enter? Yes, my body odor is getting to me. No, this underwear is only a week old. Oh god. As you must know, springs of where the two sexes bathe together are not permitted. In light of that, it's not now necessary to inform you that this is a spring for males only. Female companions may wait over there or seek out the springs designated for them. <laughs> well now, I'm certain you must feel refreshed. Your skin is absolutely radiant. So fun... Uh, the, so there's something interesting about that. In the PlayStation version, they didn't have towels on. They just had sensor bars. So that's kind of interesting. They actually went in and edited that whole scene to give them the towels. And of course, Nash had to have his own scene. He's just too pretty, isn't he? <laughs> So there is a second spring somewhere um, that is the the female spring and you can get basically a similar set of cutscenes with the girls which is why I have two soap because that we used up one of them the other soap will go to the women's spring if I can find it. I don't even know where it is. Cursed brains! Oh. Really now? Um. Oh, your infernal. The infernal staff actually is a weapon. Or is a thing. Okay. I actually didn't expect that. Also, I had Kyle and Alex go the opposite directions. Maybe I should switch their party positions. Curse bomb! Oh dear. Ow! That actually hurt a lot! 17 damage. Well, frick me. Pop. Nash leveled up. Learn Spark Ball. Switch Kyle and Ella, Kyle and Alex's spots. That way, Alex can attack up and Kyle can attack down. Um, I'm just gonna paralyze enemies. Is this not a damaging spell either? Is Riot his only damaging spell? Good grief, Nash. Your flail is, of course, just flail. At some point, she gets a magic weapon that shoots, like, stuff. Good job, Kyle. Acid breath. 
Ow. Flame circle. Wow, that barely did any damage to these Gorgons. He's already poisoned! <laughs> Chrono Gorgon. Apparently. Is what they're called. Whack! Whack! Goodness. Take enough hits? Good job, Kyle. More Chrono Gorgons. Ah, this just one in this group. Um, let's do an explosive stab. Whoa. My whole computer just freaked out for a second. Let's do Sonic Riser. In the PlayStation version, his Sonic Riser ability, the description said, Release Weasel. Which I always thought was funny. Wham! Holy frick, Kyle! Not nailing those freaking 300 damage. Pleasant stab. Boom. Jessica leveled up. Poor Nash. He's always going to be the furthest behind. Like, the, there's no hope for him at this point. He can never catch up. He's always going to be like two levels behind everybody else. Everybody's level 20 except him. Well, except for Mia, but she's probably just about to level up too. I bet. Jessica and Mia and Kyle. Ow! What, what, what with the poison on Kyle? Like, seriously. At least not until level 99. True. This is assuming that we get that high, though. Chances are pretty slim for getting that high. I think the most I've ever gotten to is like level 50 something. Good grief, Kyle. He takes so much damage. Like Jessica is always having to heal him. Oi, no dodging. <laughs> You're not allowed to dodge. <clears throat> Don't 
<sighs> Mia leveled up! Told ya. Told you Mia was just about to level up. Cursed brains! Goodness! This thing's got some health! Curse bomb! Ow! Again! Kyle taking all the damage! Kyle needs healing again. <laughs> Let's throw a healing fruit at Kyle. So we're not wasting all of our freaking mana every two seconds. At least it's nice though that we have a dedicated healer, so... Um... Let's see... So one nice thing about this game is that they have what are called tactics. And what tactics allow you to do is to go in and define a set of uh, commands that you are going to use regularly such as I just set up a tactic for the infernal staffs and attack like I've been doing the last like three battles which means that if I then go into a fight instead of sitting there and selecting everything manually I can go to tactics and I can select the first one. Now, I can't select the enemies when I do that, unfortunately, but... They're all based... They're, they're, so, the AI selection is usually, generally, about the same as what I would have been doing, so... Got him. But it does make battles a little bit faster just because you don't have to sit there and select, you know, each individual enemy and the skills and things, especially if it just gives you the same thing over and over again. I've kind of been waiting until I had the full party to set up the tactics. That way I wasn't, you know, having to, like, constantly s set up new tactics every time we got new party members. 2,000 silvers. Alright, in this case, though, I want to actually... Use some skills. Let's do... 
Oh yeah, you don't have any zone things. Um, Shine Blade, extreme damage. Let's see that. If he can get it off. Assuming I don't AoE the crap out of everything first. <clears throat> I AoE'd everything first. Oh well. But that's another thing you can do with the tactics. You can select like all of the AoE moves. Like all of the full like enemy zone or the, the full like field moves. And you can just say, hey, just use all of them. And it does it. That's kind of, it's pretty nice, actually, being able to just do that. Just hit the buttons like that. I'm going to turn the air conditioner back on now that I'm not using the voice modulator. Ah, Kyle! Guess I should have been a little more careful in this area. So clearly these enemies are a tad bit stronger than I thought they were. Alright. If they're going to be actually like strong then we will do something different head with riot i still don't have a revive skill so let's heal litany on mia and then mia can drop a flame circle assuming i don't flash cut everything I just flash cut everything. Why do I bother? Why do I even bother? Level 19. Ash leveled up. Now, right into another battle. Don't even get a chance to heal poor... Well, anybody actually. Um, I'm out of mana. Oh dear. Alright, well, explosive stab. We will drop a riot. We will do a calm litany because multiple people need healing. We'll drop a flame circle. And Kyle, I'm actually just going to have him defend and run back because I'm sure that it won't matter since I dropped like every single AoE that I have <coughs> actually I should have had Kyle stay there oh well it doesn't matter because again they're all dead I kind of assumed the explosive stab was just going to kill them all, so it wasn't a big deal. 321 experience. We're getting good experience, though. How much does Alex have? 292. Oh, so one more battle. And he should level up. Um, can I get the cursed brains instead? Yes. Cursed, the cursed brains I can handle. Whoops. Tactics. I didn't notice that Kyle still needs healing. I didn't get him fully healed up. Oh boy, here's Curse Bomb. On Jessica. Oh! It... it explodes and hits multiple characters. I see. 
It's an enemy zone skill. Good. <coughs> because why not? I mean, it is a bomb, so that makes perfect sense. Whoops. Attack the one in front of you. Now, the only issue is that you can't manipulate the tactics on the fly and be like, hey, I want to use this tactic, but with this slight, like, one change, you know? Like, there, it would have been nice to have just been able to select that same tactic, but tell Jessica to heal. <coughs> that did not happen. Also, I did not get the level up that I wanted. So, rip. Killer Buzz. Alright, well we already know that these guys are a pain. And they hurt. So I'm going to drop one of those there. I'm going to drop a flame circle at the bottom. And I cannot use Sonic Riser on these guys. They're too split up. Fuck. Again, on Kyle. Ow, on Jessica. Ow, on Kyle. Kyle is dying. <laughs> Jessica Let's just do a regular heal, it's fine. Flame circle attack. Wanna at least get to Myriad? No dodging. That's against the rules. Alex and Kyle both leveled up. Awesome. There's the level up I needed. 2,000 more silver. Let's just go ahead and do flash cut. Because that basically takes them all out. Like, see here, it's like, it would be nice if I could just say, do flash cut, and then select the tactic. For, the, for like everybody else. But you can't do that, unfortunately.
Good job, Alex. Four hundred experience. Got item. Oh, frick. Yeah, I'll fight both of these guys now. I'll defend, I'll attack, or the one that I made. Good job. Oh my god, Avira, shut up. Always around this time that my uh, my uh, antivirus pops up for the uh, well for the pop up. It's very annoying. <laughs> You're wrecked. <laughs> Jessica level. Jessica leveled up. Oh hey, he walked away. I'll take it. I don't know why he walked away, but I'll take it. <coughs> Myriad. So this is Myriad. This is amazing, Alex. She built a city entirely of wood planks suspended over the water. Actually, the real amazing part is that these hicks managed to nail anything not related to them. But anyway, let's get cracking and find this Thieves Guild test giver who's supposed to be here. Welcome to Marriott, kids. I'm Ma Cunningham. We're all family here. Before we settled, the, settled here, people had a devil of time to cross in the river. I have no idea what dialect that's supposed to be. These days, I've been a mite bit discouraged. You see, I have been living here to study this clan that started Marriott as part of my anthropology studies. As the land is literally calling with monsters, I can't get away from this town to take a break. Thank you kindly for coming to my store. How can I help you today? Oh, is it supposed to be like country? Is that the idea? Wrath Ring. Ooh. Oh. Do I... Do I buy three of these? Can I buy three of these? Oh my god, I can, but it's all my money. Do I buy three Wrath Rings? Doing it. Especially since freaking Nash over here doesn't even have anything. 110. Oh, I need four. I didn't notice, I, I didn't see that everybody, I, mean, I guess it makes sense that everybody could wear it. Oh uh, yeah, so yeah, I need one more for Kyle, and I don't have that much muns. Eh, oh well, Kyle's strong enough as he is, so it's fine. Hey, y'all come back now, you hear? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be, uh, like, country dialect. Which is fine. I can do that. Welcome to Marriott. My name's Cunningham. Since we're all family here, thought I'd give you a, a neighborly warning about that bridge over yonder. You see, it's rotted, so be careful there. Now, do you think it's safe for us to cross? Don't worry, Mia. You'll be alright. People say that those with a pure heart can safely cross. Nash, the line coming out of your mouth is so unlike you. So fake. It actually did damage to my it actually did damage to my soul. Well, we should at least give it a shot. Let's just run across. Hey, you done got two pretty girls there. Why don't you give one to me? Ma Cunningham is all I got. I heard that this gallon fella is looking for Althena. That's why he's having Zenobia steal all the girls that sing good. Alex, that actually sounds logical, but if that's Galleon's plan... It 
did sound logical, but that doesn't make sense because she's in her go in the goddess tower, right? Hello there, son. I'm Billy Cunningham, my, the best carpenter in this village. Did you know it? My little one, my little one went to the festival and fell head over heels for a singer named Lily. I don't know what he's gonna do if he marries outside our happy little town. Have normal children? Hey there, and y'all from the town of Riza by any chance? The girl is the prettiest thing I ever did see, and she can sing like an angel. Words. We'll cross the bridge in a minute, by the way. If, if in my eyes were a mite bigger, and my nose was a little higher, and my mouth was a mite smaller, I looked just like the cow Salthina. Well, that's a mouthful coming from a bug-eyed, triple-lipped, snout-nosed, uh, forget it. Wow, and all. My old lady bought some dang fool magic mirror on Black Rose Street. That darn thing has some kind of way of making ugly things look more pretty. Darn freaky, if, if, it, I, if it, you ask me. A darn freaky. I can read. Reading the... Reading their dialect is not the easiest thing to do, I'm going to be honest. They say the girls that sing real pretty are the ones Zenobia is going for. This place is a port town version of Alabama, got it. Yes, basically. Except it's not really a port town, it's just like built over a river. That their dance was easy on the eyes, but you can't sing or dance worth beans. <laughs> Phew, I've been singing and singing. I, I need a rest. Come back later. What? You newbies from the Thieves Guild? I don't get it. I'm just a drunk person. It's hard to believe, but this guy really might be an inspector. He might be, but apparently I don't know that yet. Hmm, I've hired a den dancer like other bars, but I don't make no money. Wonder why that is, hmm. Hiya, my name's Cunningham. I want to tell you that that, that, that fellow over yonder looks to be a mite suspicious. I don't have no proof, but he just gives me the willies. Fella over yonder? Which fella over yonder? Creek, crack, crack. Hey, what were those strange sounds just now? In the creek and the crack. I, I think the bridge just moved. Crack. I'm, I'm feeling a little scared now. Maybe we should turn back. Ah! Well, Jessica. This doesn't look good. We better help. Oh no! Crack! Snap! Okay, it's gonna fall. Ah! And Alex, are you all right? You're all sopping wet. It's not your lucky day today, is it? I wonder if everyone's okay. Oh, there's Mia. Hey, that looks like Mia over there. Huh? Someone's hitting on her, Alex. We better get over there and help before some jerk tries to take advantage of her. Interestingly enough, in the PlayStation version, each of the characters is perfectly, like, placed so that the next character you have to find 
is like right on the edge of the screen. So it doesn't have to do like the panning or anything. But with the uh, the difference in how this is set up, they have to. Well, you, you see, I, Alex, perfect timing. Cinnamon has invited us for tea. Let's so make sure to show him our appreciation by letting him foot the bill for everyone. How dare you try to hit on you, Mia. Come on, let's beat him up. Let's beat him up, okay, Alex? Please don't know. I don't think he really knows any better. Well, it's your call then. Let's go, Mia. Come on, let's look for Jessica and the others, Alex. So, Kyle is probably over here. Dunn tried to fix up this here place, but we're still doing piss poor business. What's wrong? And those people just stood there watching. I mean, they did warn us that the bridge might collapse. Admittedly. We were the idiots that walked across. But yes, they really did just sit there and watch. I actually have no idea where anybody is. Because this is not at all what the PlayStation setup is. There's Jessica. Kyle, you dove into the river to save me, knowing full well you couldn't swim. But why do you always have something to prove, when if you drown, it won't amount to anything? Why don't you ever think about the consequences of your own actions? Come on, Kyle, please open your eyes. Oh, this is different. Kyle. All right. Someone had better tell me right now who's making Jessica cry, because I'm going to kick their face in. Hey, Kyle. Huh? Oh, hey, Jess. Have you just been crying or something? What the heck I was? That's right. What was I thinking? Because I must have been seeing a dream from my childhood. <laughs> what do you mean, dream? You ever crumb buffoon? Hey, that hurts. Why you got to be like that, Jess? I'm the daughter of Master Mel is why. Not to mention my mother delivered me in the waters of Moravia's ocean. Didn't you ever think about the fact that I can even that I can even outswim a fish? Yet you're still running around with something to prove. All right, all right, I get it, Jess. Just stop giving me the beat down with that fist of yours already. You're seriously the biggest dummy for to ever walk this planet. Who are you calling a dummy, you friggin' shrew? Should have left you to the sharks. One taste of you would have given them the runs anyway. What'd you just say? You heard me the first time. Just getting kind of really compliments each other, don't they? <laughs> what? Those two? Yeah, I'm not sure what to make of either of them. I guess we, all we have to find is Nash. Let's go. They got bad news, Kyle. It was you. Right? Seriously make me sick to my stomach, Jess. Let's get moving and find this dude from the Thieves Guild, Alex Pronto. <coughs> Alright, now we just gotta figure out where Nash is. He's gonna be the one in here this time. That's interesting. In the PlayStation version, you end up fighting everybody... And then you come here, and Kyle is here drinking with this guy, and, and half drunk. How many times have I told you before? I've already talked things over with the guild chief. Hurry up and give us this thieves' crest, or whatever the heck you call it. How many times have I told you before? It doesn't matter what the game is. This is all about being able to beat us at something. You really don't get it, do you? Why should I be forced to do something stupid like that? Well, obviously, that's because I'm the Inspector of the Thieves Guild this week, and because I don't like the tone of your voice, boy. How do you like that? Doesn't that idiot realize he's dealing with a member of the Thieves Guild? Oh, well, quite the awkward bunch. <laughs> I bet Nash is having the hardest time dealing with him. Let's go have ourselves a good laugh. But this scene is completely different. That's kind of cool. Hey, Alex. Seems as though the guy is... This guy is the inspector from the Thieves Guild. 
But it's like talking to a brick wall. The only one here is like a brick wall is you. Guild entrance exam is clear cut. Like I said a gazillion times before, it doesn't matter about the content of the game. All that matters is that you get me to say these two simple words. I lost. How easy is that? Oh, really? <laughs> I think the great Kai will just take you up on that offer. And let the games begin. I'm not about ready to lose to a young blowhard like yourself. I know. <coughs> I, I, I lost. Ugh. Hit my limit. I can't drink another drop. <laughs> Huh, so what do you think about that? The great Kyle's never lost in a drinking game, ever. Wow! <laughs> That's definitely not something worth bragging about. <laughs> It'll right, you then. Give me that damn thieves crest, or whatever the hell you call it. I apologize, buddy, I really do. But the real test is to retrieve the treasure from Damon's Spire, which lies to the south of Marriott. To us thieves, is the most valuable thing there is. All you need to do is give it to the guild leader and you pass. <laughs> well, now you're telling me to get some treasure from Damon Spire. But Damon Spire? You mean where Damon, the Keeper of Knowledge, resides? Yes, that's right. You're very well informed, miss. <laughs> In order to enter the Spire, a password will be required. Please take this with you. <laughs> got old notebook. <laughs> as long as you've got that old notebook, <laughs> You should be able to get into the spire. Uh. All right then, to the south of this, and I'm going to Damon's spire. Oh, I think he's just immediately sober. He just had it. He he wasn't playing the game yet, though. Yeah, they were they weren't playing in the game yet, so it didn't count. Alright, password to the spire. Right. The whole thing is that I don't have the dragon wings. Right. I remember that now. Uh, so Damon Spire is to the south, right? Damon, guardian of knowledge. Place got a library rivaling even that of veins. Uh, that means going back to Marriott Forest again, don't it? Alright. Let's make our way through here. Kyle's taking less damage all of a sudden. Did I buy him something? Like better armor? I don't think so. I just bought the Wrath Range, right? I didn't even give one to Kyle. I probably should. Because I'm realizing that the Infernal Staff just has, like, a set damage. It's not increasing with the power, I think. So I should probably take the ring off of one of them and give it to him. I'll take it off no uh off uh Nash. He's the one that's least likely to actually use magic anyway. Ah, there's a red chest down there. Nothing is new with Kyle unless you miss something. Okay. I didn't think so. He just... I don't know. He was taking less damage in that fight for some reason.
Yeah, see, it's 18 regardless of whether I use the Wrath Ring or not. So, I think it's a set amount of damage divided by, like, their defense or something. Or subtracting their defense or something like that. Ow! Curse Bomb. Excuse me. <laughs> Nash leveled up. Learned sleep. Mia leveled up. Learned ice geyser. Hey, Nash hit level 20. Everybody else is level 21. He's not completely caught up, but he's kind of gotten... He did kind of get there. Um, alright. Let's just... Ooh! I can use Dragon Guard now! I use up all my mana, but I can. Hypnotize. Let's try it. Think I'm hitting all the enemies that I just... Did a hip did hypnotize on. So let's not do that. That one please, thank you. Um erupting ice pillar. Let's see how that goes. Sleep. So I think it affected one, but I think he was like immune or something. Because it did a weird animation on one of them. But only on one of them. Venom Needle. Oh my god. Kyle. All of a sudden now he's taking all the damage again. Ugh. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and riot these guys. Use that healing fruit. I'm gonna blizzard one enemy, aren't I? Nope, I have rioted one enemy. Well, at least it wasn't blizzard. Blizzard costs a lot for me to only hit one enemy with it. Correct. Acid breath. Thank you. Ah, 
that. Easy mode. <sighs> and fight number two, apparently. I had no chance to dodge that one. I'm going to go flash cut. Which I al we already know will kill all of them. Because they weak to flash cut. Flush. That helps. Right. Hell slugs. Hen actually read the names of these enemies. The hidden tactics. So this tactics, this particular set of tactics seems to work pretty well. So, a real point in not. Probably the only thing I would really do differently is I'd use the Infernal Staff on the Gorgons instead. But, it's fine. I'm already poisoned, you numb nut. Good job, Jessica. Sleep to the stream. Dreams were a little wild because of these sound effects. I can imagine. I just don't want to fight these things. <laughs> they are too strong. Curse bomb. Ow.
I had a pretty weird dream last night. But it was one of those dreams where, like, you wake up and you go, you know, that was fun. And, like, it's a story. And so you want to know, like, where the story goes from there. So you want to go back to sleep and continue the dream because you want to know what happens next in the story. Couldn't tell you a thing about it because I don't remember my dreams ever. Ow. Oh no, Jessica. But I definitely remember when I woke up, I was like, man, I hope I can go back to sleep and continue that dream, because that dream was awesome. Like, I was super enjoying it, too. <laughs> I couldn't tell you a single thing about what it was about. Like, I'm trying to remember, but I cannot remember at all for the life of me. I never remember my dreams, though. I know I have them. Because I wake up and go, wow, that was an interesting dream half the time. Fortunately, I just don't remember... The dream itself afterwards. Ah, uh, that's a stat. That's uh, that's Hellmel. What? What the, Dad? What are you doing out here? Jessica, my dear Jessica, please don't leave me here. It's so cold, so lonely. Jessica, look out! What? Uh, what? What's happening? What have you done to them? Help me, Althena! Give me the power to break the spell. No, not again. My father, my friends, and Kyle I've lost everyone I ever cared about. Come to me, Jessica. Join me. Join your friends. You will live forever, and you will never be alone. Yes. Kyle? Yeah. Mel would never ask his daughter to join him in death, you monster. I don't know what the hell you are, but I'm going to sever you limb from limb. Bring it on, hag. Yeah, that's just how dreams do. I know that some people can remember their dreams pretty well. I've just never been able to. Idle Mel. Um, you know what? Shine Blade. It is a boss after all. Extreme damage! Oh my god! That was extreme damage! 800? Oh my god! I can see why it's one enemy. Freaking 800 damage with a single attack. Just keep power slashing. I mean, he was weak to it, so it was more like 400, but still. Oh my god. He just melted. <laughs> Zero experience gained. Curse you! 
Bryce! You've gone way too far this time, you shapely hag. I made the mistake of underestimating you, and I shan't do that again. How was I to know you could channel my magic with your spirit alone? That's what we like to call the power of the human heart, so get used to it. Now, how about we get down to a little business? Tempting, but perhaps later. Kyle, I... Hey, hey, it was nothing. I mean, it's what I'm here for. And besides, it felt good to beat up your dad. When you saw I was in danger, you broke out of the stone and saved me. Your feelings for me were what broke the spell. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What are you two doing? Come on, let's get moving. All right, of course. Well, Kyle, shall we get going? Yeah, yeah, let's go. And casually breaks off petrification by raw strength. You ain't well time to kick your ass, right? Alright, Damon Spire. Haven't done Damon like I, I haven't touched I haven't done any of this stuff on this version, so any like cutscenes that are unique to this game and stuff like that from this point on, like it's all gonna be new to me. So those who seek the guardian of knowledge must have a special knowledge first. At uh, special knowledge first. Hey, maybe it's something in the notebook. I believe you're correct, Nal. Wait, give me a minute. Here it is. Intelligence is the ultimate strength, and wisdom is the ultimate power. You possess a cornerstone, which can become the foundation you may enter. Step onto the tiles of red to unlock the door and gain entrance. I thought it'd be interesting. Judging from the outside, this place is at least six stories tall. Where are the stairs? I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna let these goons beat. I'm. I'm not gonna let these goons beat me to the top and take my treasure away. Well, technically not mine until I steal it, but you know what I mean. Huh? It's empty. That's strange. I feel like I've already come through this place several times before. No matter how long I wander around, I can't find a stairway to go up. What's the deal with this place? That treasure chest is empty too. Mind if I just fast forward between the fade outs? Thieves Guild has never been able to plunder Damon Spire. That's why the boss sent us here. For the best of the best, if anyone can loot this join, it's us. Make sure you stay out of our way. What do you think Damon Treasure looks like? I wonder if it's that? No, no, maybe it's he. <laughs> hey, I know how exciting it can be to steal, buddy, but it's not that exciting. I don't know, Kyle. Seeing you get pretty excited after stealing a kiss from me. Chests are all empty. <laughs> it was about the time that they missed chests, then it turned out to be empty. <laughs> right? Well, there's the stairs. But it didn't seem that this switch um, activated the stairs. Or indeed, it activated this path. Can't read any of the books. Yet.
I, Damon, have granted you the privilege to tread within these sacred walls. However, if you wish to proceed any further, you must answer my question. What is the source which allowed our world to be created by the hand of Althena? I have a question of my own. What the hell are you talking about, you fruitcake? I was about to ask something like that myself. Should a brilliant student like you know the answer to this one, Nash? Of course. Uh, of course I do. You don't sound too sure, Nash. Alex, why don't we let Mia try to answer this instead? Sure, let's go with Mia. Mia, why don't you try? Good call, Alex. We're counting on you, Mia. My mother spoke to me of the subject long ago. The answer is magic. You are correct. You may enter. I knew you'd do it, Mia. And that's just what I would have said. Sure. Why are you staring at me, cat? Dare you imply an elite magician of the magic? Yada yada yada. Why don't we save the excuses until we have a chance to explore this place? Downstairs in two minutes. Stuff, <laughs> stuff up your game, thieves. <laughs> right? Mummy clones. <coughs> Let's throw in some tactics. Ooh, weak to fire. Okay. Or magic, I'm not sure which. So much dodging. Yeah, I kind of wanted to do the whole Thieves Guild in just this one sit, in one sitting, but I may actually have to stop in the middle of Damon's Tower here. Because it is getting late. It is 5 o'clock. Quack, quack. I mean, uh, one thing to consider, though, is that we are anime protagonists. Or video game protagonists, not anime protagonists. We're video game protagonists. As video game protagonists, we have a certain benefit. That is to say, we have intelligence as opposed to, you know, none because NPCs. Can I actually use explosive stab? Will that count? Um, you know what? Let's use the Iris Sledge. Or, I don't believe there's any kind of a boss in here. That did not work. <laughs> As protagonist, we can see from a top ish down view and see past some false walls. Indeed. Wham! 300 damage. Sonic Riser! 
Not bad damage. Not great damage. Four hundred experience. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of the fights here, I think. Um, cause there's like six floors. Just drop tactics. Nice damage. Nash leveled up. 21. Hey, did he just get caught up in level? More or less. Wow. Got Starlight. I'm actually surprised he managed to get caught up in level. It is. Uh, it really is getting late, though. <laughs> We're at an hour and about pretty close to an hour 40 minutes right now. Jessica leveled up. I mean, he's still kind of about a level behind, but not completely. One, one issue I can already see that I'm going to face in here is that the screen transitioning revives all the enemies and in the PlayStation version it's all one map and you can kill all the enemies and be able to move around and solve the puzzles but that's not going to be a thing in this version. I can already tell. Bea leveled up. Nope, now Nash is behind again. Because he's level 21. So I don't think he's going to get caught up any more than he is. I think he's always going to be just that, like, one level behind. It would be great if there was like a repel item, but this, it's fine. I mean, it's experience. I'll be less like bored of combat next stream. This is, you know, we, we've been playing this for five and a half hours now. Um, so. RPGs drain me pretty heavily, honestly.
I just don't really enjoy like the grinding and stuff like that there that's usually in RPGs. I know a lot of people do, but I just don't really enjoy it. That said though, this is still definitely one of the better RPGs out there. So, like I do enjoy this game, it's just the, the grindy elements of RPGs that I'm not big on. The, uh, the, uh you know, the, the constant battle, the grind. I say this, and yet I am a DM for Dungeons & Dragons, which is literally an RPG. But like, but like, that's another thing, right? Like, I hate when um, I end up getting stuck in this idea of like, well, what do I do? And it's like, well, you could just do a bunch of random encounters. And it's like, but that's boring. You know? And it is! You know, even, like, even playing the monsters, like, it's just boring to just do, like, you know, random encounter after random encounter after random encounter. It's like, there's, there's, it, you know, D&D is much more than just the combat. There's got to be more that you can do than just fight like 20 different random encounters and I feel that like I, that's how I kind of feel about RPGs in general though it's like it's an RPG a role playing game there's nothing about the term role playing game that insinuates the idea that it has to be combat and that it has to be you know leveling up and you know the the idea is that you, it's a game where you play a role you know full playing game and yet RPG has become synonymous with the idea that it's like oh you gotta do the leveling and you gotta fight like a hundred times in an hour and that kind of thing. You gonna speed this fight? These things aren't doing any damage to me. So uh, hopefully nobody minds that I just fast that I just fast forwarding that. If I was having to actually watch my health and be careful, that would be one thing. But these guys are so... Like, they deal so little damage, it's not even funny. And it's not even that I'm high level or anything, because I'm not that high level. You know, I'm level 22. And that's what this area is, is, you know, level 22 ish, level 20 ish, something along those lines. Wow, I just decimated that whole fight. To proceed further, you must demonstrate your mental fortitude by answering my question. People who rely entirely on force shall ultimately be destroyed by force. What? We can't use force. 
Come down, Kyle. If you had listened for once, you'd know he didn't say that. Please continue, Damon. Ahem. But the person who controls force can avoid it altogether. What controls force? What kind of game is this, old man? And I know the answer to that one. Come on, Alex, let me handle this. I don't think this is a question that Kyle can answer. She's right, Alex. Can't place our fate in the hands of this brain-dead brigand. Let's take your nose where it doesn't belong, Asher. You might get it cut off. Come down, you two. Alex, this is your call. Let's put our faith in Nash's intellect. That's a statement I never thought I'd say. I have to go with Nash. One desire is the right outcome. One must first make the right decision, as the proverb goes. And you, Alex, have made the right decision. Quit babbling and just answer the stinking question. Come down, barbarian. I can't answer a question if I don't take the time to think about it. Don't spit out the answer right this stinking second. Get over yourself and answer the question, Nash. Come on, Nash, hurry up. All right, all right. The answer, Damon, is skill. Skill controls force. You are correct. You may proceed. Well, what do you know? He does know something. Wow, I'm impressed, Nash. Thank you, Mia. It really was an easy question, at least for me, anyway. You just got a lucky magic boy. I guarantee it's going to run out soon. Don't be so grumpy, Kyle. Let's go upstairs. All right. Oh. Big enemies. I'm going to save and end things off here for today's stream. It's almost 5.30. Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. That way you can get caught up on any episodes you missed. This was streamed live, twitch.tv slash serene inc. Feel free to come on by, hang out with us, chat, things like that. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later.